And we're back. Holy shit. They got started quick. All right. Um, this is a House Divided campaign. This is week four. So last week, the IVB attacked the USAA in southeastern Tennessee, and it resulted in a tie. Therefore, there was a reroll as the maps continue. And it is another conquest. And this time, it is a smokestacks. 234 on the server pop, 118 on the CSA, 116 on the Union. As they both got to move out to their points... Um, we can take a look at the two teams. Looks like CSA has a couple already guys here from the IVB. They did go with at least a couple guys, and we'll start out with the CSA as they move out to their point. On their team, they have the HL under Captain Gene. We've got 123rd under Volunteer New Jersey. That's interesting. We've got 10th Tennessee under Major Kett. We've got Colonel Bocephus leading the PB. I'm surprised Danson's not leading that. Maybe there's some inside joke. I'm not tracking. All right, let's see. We've got Parker from the NYV. We've got 4th West Virginia with Colonel Lightburn. There he... Oh, Corporal Guy, I should say. Then we've got MWB under Major Valkeen. And we've got IVB under Jeff Knight. Now let us move to the Union. I'll go back to front here. We've got on the Union team the 83rd, led by Tenant Tank. Then there's Danson uh, for the 123rd. Let's form a line. 79th is in here as well under Captain Ricks. We've got the 18th UX, US under Phoenix J. we got SR under Tall Gray. We've got Lieutenant Mattis and Captain Hood leading the 42nd. Here. Push up, push up, push up. Along with Kilroy there. And then we've got Colonel Tommy leading the 9th Corps along with Brutish. And let's see who's up here. We've got the 19th Indiana under Mortal Heart. And this is the 123rd. Weird. Um, 20th New York's in here somewhere. Uh, oh, there's some of them. I, I don't know why Volunteer in Jersey is the officer there. That's weird. I don't know what's going on with that. But, um... So what'll happen here, again, for the HDC, the House Divided Campaign, they'll start out at the 42-minute mark. At the 42-minute mark, they'll start raising their two flags. And then off they go. The uh, two points they raise the uh, flags on are the only points in play for this conquest. All the other points are out. Uh, we will see how that battle develops. Now, this game is War of Rights. It's available on Steam for, right now it's on sale for 20 US dollars. Uh, highly recommend it, although I will warn again, watch out for the public specifically, not all publics, record, but guys. specifically the uh, War Rights official. They are unmodded and are a cesspit. But, luckily we're in a private event, which is moderated. Um, so I don't have to worry about any of that. If something comes up, it'll be dealt with. Um, the House Divided Campaign, there is a link in the description. It is held every Saturday at 8pm EST with a was mentioning earlier the meta aspect there is a tabletop that goes along with this there's a video also in this playlist for tabletop week four that corresponds to the moves for this week and again this is battle one of the ivb who's on the csa team attacking usaa which is a a combined piece here in southeastern um, tennessee again I, I also leave uh in the description links to all these units if you see a unit that looks cool i want to join it uh, go ahead and check them out um, you two can be in these events and the other events that they participate in. And finally, you know, if you, uh, like the channel or like the video, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff, help the channel grow. Always appreciate it. And anyway, off we go. Um, played this map a couple times in this campaign, and it, and it has been difficult for the Union. Um, I don't think I've seen a CSA defeat yet seen some draws, but I don't think I've seen a CSA defeat yet. We'll see if the Union team this time can figure out a way to crack the code. Looks like they are leaving a decent force in the defense here. Let's check and see what the Union's leaving back here. So they've got the 18th U.S. back here alongside the 9th Corps. 9th Corps is a very strong unit. Uh, looks like we also have another unit over here. 79th. Rix, he's probably a scout force. Um, although maybe 18th U.S. is heading out in this direction, along with the rest of the Union force, which is moving towards their spawn and kind of might be looking to try to outflank the CSA. The CSA, in the meantime, is more spread out. They've got a pretty heavy weighted force here that might meet the U.S. force there. Um, a less strong force, kind of two units here guarding the point directly here. So you've got 
MWB and the 10th Tennessee here. And is that Parker? That's ours. And Parker. Just kind of hanging out there. Uh, then further out, we've got the IVB. And kind of as a forward pathfinding unit here, we got the 4th West Virginia. They are very good at that pathfinding mission, so I am not surprised there. A lot of scouts here. Now, the Union, looks like the 18th U.S. is a little separated right now, but the rest of the Union is kind of barreling forward. And there comes Captain Hood getting five tickets out of line, but that scout will send word back. There is Steam Chat in this, so um, that warning will come back. Captain Hood is going to try. He's, he's going along the flank here. Now again, all this out back here is is open terrain, so, and it looks like we have the CSA might be moving up for a counterattack in the form of Gene from the HL. He might be able to come up behind the Union line. Let's see what he can do. Good discipline here by Gene, waiting for the Union to pass. Great discipline by Gene. Oh my god. God, I, I apologize, HL. I did not a good a good angle on that, but that was a masterful little uh, attack there. Did a hell of a lot of damage to the Union as they were moving back. So, excellent job there by the HL. And now they're going to rotate out. Ooh, nice volley from the 42nd. So now it looks like the Union is forming a defensive line here. Although 18th U.S., this is the danger of being separated, <laughs> now has a sizable CSA force between them and the Union. Let's see Single if... Single column to the right of the officer oh, upon right. stop! Let's see if Phoenix can manage to get through, but he's heading straight in. Towards the CSA line. Oh, no! Direct front, enemy! And the 18th yes goes in. But HL is going to eat them up without too much difficulty. Uh, you do not want to be separated from your main line. Let's check back here and see how the fight is going to go over here. It looks like we've got two elements here. IVB is going to come in this way, while the 4th West Virginia is going to try to infiltrate through the corn. Let's see how Jeff Knight and his troops try to infiltrate. 9th Corps is moving out here. And possibly opening up a seam here for the IVB or the 4th West Virginia. Let's see how this goes. In fact, the IVB has caught 9th Corps way out of position here. And has made them pay substantially for this. And you have the added problem of here's Corporal Guy with the 4th West Virginia getting up behind. So now we've got the 9th Corps in a very bad position here. Um, they got a little bit too, uh, they were in a strong defensive position, but they uh, did not uh, maintain it. They had scouts with 79th, but for some reason decided to move out themselves. And 9th Corps is abandoning this position despite still having a good amount of troops here. If they can just mass together and not be all scattered. They have a decent amount of combat power left. You just gotta get that enemy flag down. Oh, you rebel! You rebel! Help! But Brutus has decided no, he's gonna abandon it. And that will allow the IVB oh, yeah, to get their flag up. A decisive victory here for the IVB. As um, that second point there will be critical now. And the Union has not been able to find a hole here on Sector B. We've got some leftovers of a few units here. It looks like there was a charge on it, but they did not succeed. And in fact, whatever's left here is going to be destroyed in the next few seconds. They need to get out of there now. And in fact, they need to get out of there a couple minutes ago. And Dance is going to try to get his flag out of there. On me, one twenty-third, come to dancing. Fall back, fall back. 
But so far, the CSA team led by the IVB, and there goes that flag. It does not get out. A decisive win on both fronts now for the CSA. Let's see if the IVB can hold on to this position here. They do have 9th Corps trying to reform his troops. Here's Ricks. Is it Ricks? Where's Ricks at? There's Ricks. Trying to snipe and, and distract the IVB as best they can. Uh, Ninth Corps looks like they're starting to move up. Let's see. Also got the battle over here. Uh, conquest is always very difficult for me to cover. Um, but I will do my best. Looks like Colonel Tommy's looking for an angle. Um, the IVB has moved out to chase off the 79th. see what they want to do. Better move back over here and see if we got any other action going on on this side here. Looks like we've got a bit of a standoff here. 19th Indiana, 18th U.S. tried to come out and hit here. And the problem is you got to get a little bit further underneath the lip or come out to this island under here to get a better cover position. Out in the open doesn't really work for you. Uh, this is a slightly better position, but you got to fight a long way up. Down the fence. Uh, so 42nd is facing off against, it looks like, PB over here. Yeah, PB and several other units. In fact, HL is moving back to the center right now. And you can see this ticket difference here. The uh, Union is, is falling way behind on tickets, and pretty soon this is going to be insurmountable. That win here, both that hold by the CSA, but really this win by the IVB in the 4th West Virginia um, against the 9th Corps and the 79th. Was, was really decisive. In fact, I don't, I don't know if they can recover from this at this point. Can't be caught out of position. You got scouts for a reason. You don't send the whole force out. You send your scouts out. You're trying to find the enemy. That way you don't expose yourself like that. This Discord, this Steam Chat, it's not like some of the other events where they, they have runners. Now the problem is the Union has to redeploy a lot of forces, you know, to, to fix the problem. So for example, here comes 19th Indiana, Motorhards coming up. And then behind them we have a wide flank here by the 83rd and the 123rd. Try to surround and eat up the IVB. This attack will likely be successful. But at what cost? A lot of time, and they they are going to be down almost a full morale state by the time this is over. Work together, one point third. Stab them and go. Stab them and go. We face. We. Here comes 19th Indiana coming in as well. Along with several other units. So that will do it. The Union will retake this point. But, um... Um, sir. Behind us. This is a huge uh, problem for the Union. I'm not quite sure how they're going to try to solve it now. now I didn't see how that attack against B went, but, um... B is not necessarily an easy point to take either. But here we got 42nd moving forward in the woods. So let's see what they're thinking. We are approaching Front a unit movement. here. It is the Pathfinders, 4th West Virginia. They caught a uh, 42nd volley, but the fact they got that many men out after facing that volley is impressive. Again, you got very good discipline by these units, by the CSA and back here. I know it's a little bit boring, but that's how you do it. So, yeah, now we're at engage for the Union, and they've recovered their point, but, again, at, at a huge cost. And now it's going to take a lot of time to redeploy their forces if they want to try to make another play for B. Um, you know, they could just sit back and take the loss now, I suppose. That, that is an option. I, I don't know if you can really recover from this.
scouts. Got to use them. Don't don't get your formation, especially in uh, restrictive terrain, uh, where you can't really see very far and you can't know, you don't know what's going on. You know, you get your formation out of you know without really knowing what's in front of you. You're in trouble. So I know it's boring hanging out on the cell formation, but CSA is doing it, and you know it's working for them. So now you see the Union's going to start redeploying. Now to preview some units while we're wait, waiting, here is the 42nd Pennsylvania, a very large, very uh, storied unit. They have a very active NAEU community, playing a lot of events. In fact, the HTC is organized by the 42nd, as is the European events, the Grand Campaign, and the Blue and Gray. Uh, they also participate in the Friday TSA event. Um, they have active artillery. They have a calf section that's not super active, but a very, very large line section as well. Um, very good punch volley fighters. Um, now here we got Pickett's Brigade here. Uh, right now led by Colonel Bocephus here. Um, now the Pickett's Brigade is another very long standing unit in the War of Rights community. I see them mostly on the NA side now. I don't believe they have a robust uh, or a, a, a EU community members, um, but they are um, a little bit smaller, uh, very nimble. Um, Legion is, uh, and Bocephus are both very good leaders. Um, but yeah, they, they tend to be a little bit more nimble than the bigger units, but they punch above their weight. You know, they, they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these bigger units because of the tactical acumen of the leaders. So. In fact, you see that they got into a little fight with, uh, with, uh, 42nd, you know, punch them, fall back here, and hopefully drag them into this ambush here that the HL has set up. We'll see if they get out of there. I think Hood wants to try to eat them. They're coming. Holy crap, who's this? 19th Indiana in front of them. Good use of concealment to try to uh, preserve their combat power a little bit. So now the CSA has taken on a very much a much more defensive uh, stance. Um, I don't blame them. They are super ahead on tickets, and frankly, now the Union is going to overcommit to defense. Because uh, they kind of shape the battlefield that way. They're like, oh, God, we can't lose the point again. So now these attacks are going to be even more, you know, weaker. So, you know, all you got to do now is just have a good formation. Um, I kind of like the way they've set up here. So you've got your one base of fire down here with these units over here. Uh, who is this? The IVB in the 4th West Virginia. Those were those raiding units. And then you've got uh, kind of a um, got multiple angles here. So, you know, you got your intersecting field to fire. You've got one field out this way in case the IVB gets hit. You've got your main defensive line here with the HL. And then extending out here guarding the flank is the PB. And then you have a second unit here. Here is the NYV that has another intersecting field of fire a little bit further out. And Parker, he'll shoot and he'll come back in if he takes too much fire. So I really like the way the CSA has set up this defensive line. The Union, on the other hand, unfortunately, is a little bit masked up here. And you can kind of see how they're taking fire from multiple angles. They're taking it from the front angle, they're taking it from this angle, and they're taking it from Parker's angle there. So, um, not the best setup. They're a little bit uh, strung out. Right now, 18th Keep U.S. Going. is moving out here. This is very dangerous, unsupported. Uh, in fact, I believe Parker will just eat these guys up right now. Yeah, you can't charge across an open field like that. That is unadvised. Yep. Yeah, I knew this was going to happen. I'm not going into the woods too much because it's it's tough for me to cover in the woods. I, I, I can never see nothing. Actually, I'll try here. Here's the guy trying to get on the flank of the 19th Indiana. Actually succeeding pretty well at it, too. They've been an excellent Pathfinder unit this whole game. Oh, but here we got a potential attack coming in. Who is this? Here is Ninth Corps. 
All right, so this I, I agree with. Um, the Union did leave a single unit out here. Was this all the way back here? So they're leaving the 79th back here along with SR to guard the flag. Um, and they're put the 9th Corps into a forward formation. So I think that's very wise here. Here comes 83rd is going to try to chase out the... Uh, Get cover to reload, one, two, three. So now the Union has kind of rotated away from this position. It's going to try to move into this side. Um, I think this is wise. The biggest danger is there's the enemy spawn. So if you get into a major fight, even if you wipe out a unit, you know, you're going to have enemy coming in from behind you. Um, so we'll see if they can keep this going forward. In fact, I can try to rotate a unit out here. Who is this? Uh, Mattis trying to find an angle here, I guess? Good, baby. Are you in line right here? Flag. Ninth Corps, right at the logs. Open order. Open order. 83rd, out on the road. Let's go. 83rd. To be honest with you, these shootouts are not going to win you the map. Um, you need to find an angle of attack and push it. Um, He's going to trade tickets one for one at best. But again, a very... So now we see a new formation by the CSA. So you've got a reserve here in the form of the NYV. And then you've got basically like a... Um, not an L, but kind of like a concave line here. You know, like a little inverse here. To try to put the center of the fire here. But the Union's doing a better job. They're kind of... What they need to do is wander, find these sides here, and hit them on the side. So let's see who is this right here. Let's see if 40 seconds can get him. Second. They didn't have enough punch in that, to be honest with you. Well, now what they need is for the other side to hit at the same time. You can't apply pressure selectively. It has to be at the same time. You have to give the enemy multiple dilemmas at the same time. If you allow him, like you're just doing pop shots out there and have a unit do an attack like that, they're just going to focus on this. You need to get them to panic. So Hood is going to fall back. You know, Now we've got a charge by 19th Indiana, but the problem is Hood's already knocked back. So now they can deal with 19th Indiana. Now you got a second charge over here, which is a pretty good, good angle of attack by the 9th Corps and the 123rd, but again, the problem is, you know, you didn't do it at the same time. It was discoordinated. And so the CSA, which has very good eternal lines here, are going to be able to hold this. So it was a very good idea from the Union in the attack, but it was not executed well. And it looks like we might have another attack going on over here at B. This might be 20. This might be Halo and his guys. No, it's uh, the Pathfinders again. Purple guy looking for an opportunity. And if these guys are not careful, uh, Boredom is a very, very bad enemy. Um, guy here as an officer with his six, six shooter. You know, he could send his men in first. You know, and then with the six shooter, clean up very easily. Oh, they were paying attention, so they saw a couple of them. But here comes Guy, again, using this pistol. Look at what he's doing. Oh, uh, you got to send your men in first. The key is to kill Guy right now. If Guy lives, you're in big trouble. Yep, too late. It's done. So now, the Pathfinders, 4th West Virginia, are now going to be able to take down this flag. They won't be able to take it up, but they'll take it down, and that's going to cause another big ticket loss here. So, well done by the 4th West Virginia. And that will be a big victory for them. And that will put the Union even further behind. Now, right now, the, I'd say, you know, so, you know, you kind of have like this L shape. The the Union, I would say, needs to kind of 
roll it up as best they can. Now it's tough because unless you have something fixing this force here, they're just going to swing on you. But, um... Yeah, this is, uh, this is not going well for the Union at all. Now, the CSA does have more soldiers than them. They've got nine more soldiers. Actually, um... Yeah, nine more soldiers. So that is, that is something. But they got four people on battery, too. So it's really 128 to 124. So it's really four men over. I mean, the battery's there, but they're really not doing shit. You know, they're kind of just hanging out. So it is slightly over, slightly imbalanced in favor of the CSA. But I, I wouldn't say by too much. So here we got 9th Corps. Again, I would recommend heading out to that island right there, to be honest with you. Um, I think this is too shallow. And let's see, they're going to try open order here. But you can see there's a good reaction from the CSA, and I don't think 9th Corps is going to be able to stand here for very long. But we will see how well the open order works. Yeah, now you used up your shots. Now you got the reload. And they do have more pressure over there from the Union. This is a little bit better position, as long as you're under the lip. That's the key. I'm not seeing too many drops, so that is that is a good thing. But they might be under the lip here. It's sometimes hard to tell. I believe they are. Guys, open order. Load and hold. Load and hold. Load and hold. Make sure we're open order. We are in open order. So Union has retaken C from Lightburn and his guys, but he has dragged off a lot. Okay, if you're getting shot, you're not under the lip. So that is a good way to know if you're under cover or not. If you're getting shot. Guys, wait till he says fire. Wait till he. Load and hold. Load and hold. We got another move here. Who is this? Uh, Modal is... I'm not sure what Modal's doing. I think he was looking, but he's going to dive back in. They could be charging, so be careful. Yeah, and look at this very concentrated line that the CSA has. Fish or friends, not food. And look at MW, uh, 4th West Virginia, still over there, still threatening the Union over there. Oh, we have a maneuver out here by Jean, who's going to maneuver off of... I don't know what this is. This is weird. The 120th thing... 20th? I don't know what the hell this is. I'm assuming this is 20th, and I'm assuming that's... I don't know, man. Halo, but I, I have no idea. Um, but John is coming up, and is, he's going to be very aggressive here to chase off the 9th Corps. And I think this is a very nice move here by the HL to resecure this flank. And uh, let's see if the 9th Corps can save their flag. That's very key. Now, we do have the 10-second rule, not the 5-second rule, so, but respawn, so that does change the equation quite a bit. You boys are welcome for covering y'all on that shot. Yeah, really appreciate it, Parrot. Yep, thank you. Good luck to oh. you. Good luck. 123rd, get your reload. Alright, gentlemen, a good take sergeant aim right there. Same position, take position. Jumping in front of the line. Position. Take position, take position. Steady. Shift and right, take it. Check. Get your reloads, 123rd. Load. Load and hold, boys. Let's do it, let's yeah, do it, let's do it, let's do it. Take yeah, aim, southwest, right of the tree. Never mind, boys. We're gonna fire right again, boys. Reload. Reload. So we still have some attempts from the Union to find some angle in here, but the CSA is really dug in like a tick. Um, 
Oh, wait, we got another attack going on over here. Is this 4th West Virginia again? Are they going to do it for a third time? Let us see what Corporal Guy can do here. These guys are a little bit spread out. Oh, we got charge on the other side of the field. You say just hit engaged. Let's see if I can make it in for this charge. 19th Indiana coming in. A pretty good coordinated attack from the Union this time from multiple angles. Now the key is to get here and get the flag down. Blunt is doing what he needs to do. And they are working on decapping. A very good attack from the Union. Was able to hit multiple angles and was able to overwhelm them. Now there's that CSA Artie that I was talking about. I guess they uh, proved themselves to be useful. There's Doughboy. Good job jumping on the flag to decap. But we've got a full win here from the Union. So that fight is over. They're going to respawn here. Uh, the question is, where do you reinforce? Do you reinforce at C or do you reinforce at A for the Union? Because wait a second, here comes Lightburn. And he is doing a very successful minor attack here against the 79th and SR. And these guys are finished. Now, are there reinforcements that can make it in time? And is it getting communicated that they need help? That is the question. But these Pathfinders, the 4th West Virginia, have proven to be extremely successful this whole game. Even though the Union won that attack, and they're going to get the flag up. The 4th West Virginia is going to make sure that it doesn't really mean much. Now, who's this coming up here? He is Hood with his one pistol, but they'll probably shoot him on the way up. Yep. Here comes Mattis. He's going to try his luck, but he'll get shot too. Now here comes the rest of the 42nd. So it looks like the CSA is opting to retake C, which... Oh, no, they're coming up here. They are sending in reinforcements here. So now the question is, what does the Union do? Do they hold there? Right now the Union's getting a little bit up here, but the CSA is going to try to get the flag. Here comes Kilroy, and he's going to have to fight against the HL. But their men are very tired. They've been running for quite a bit. Right out of us. And in fact, there's another regiment coming in, 10 Tennessee under Major Ket's coming in as well. It's going to be very tough for the 42nd to win here. Here comes Ket. Nice volley from Mr. Ket in the 10th Tennessee. Yeah. They scream like bitches. Look at them run. And here we got HL. He's going to move over. John is going to get his men ready to retake this flag. 40 seconds is going to have to try to hold as long as they can. But frankly, without a flag, they're in big trouble. Now, does the PSA have a flag is the question. I don't think they do. So while this goes on, until they get a flag up here, that is very advantageous for the Union. But the Union's got another fight on its hand over here. Let's see if I can make it in time to see the fight on B. Oh, NYB. Tip of the spear here. Is trying to get around and get their flags up. We got the 19th Indiana, 83rd reacting to it, and along with others, 123rd's in there as well. Pull back, 123rd. Pull back, pull back. 123rd. Garrison the fence line. Garrison the fence line. Good job by these defensive units here. It looks like MWB came in as well. 18th US was helping on the US side. So far, they've held. Now we've got another fight over here. Who is this? IVB. Hey, Danson, we got a full Rebel company straight north. So good hold there by the Union there. Starting to, you can see with this, they've been able to catch up. Now the key is, can they get their flag up? And can they retake C point? In that case, the Union might be able to um, 
move and get this closer to a draw, but the CSA is flooding in reinforcements as well. And Hood has ordered an attack against HL, but now here comes PB, Bocephus, to try to help it. That quick reaction force, like I was talking about, they got their flag up as well. This, I think, will determine the end of this fight here, determine whether or not it is a, a tie or a uh, victory for the CSA. Nine minutes remaining in this fight. It has been a back and forth, very active keep conquest that, map. Keep that fire hot, keep that fire hot. Oh, CSA has lost their flag. Oh, and their officer goes down. Oh, but wait a second, what's this? Who is this? 10th Tennessee, Major Kent coming in from behind. Knocking out these 79th. Let's see if he can carry forward this attack. Now two points are up. That is going to really hurt the CSA on tickets, but Kent is in a decent position. We'll see if he can knock back the 42nd. But, oh, Captain Hood's going to try to get his men back into a defensive position. I'm trying to see if there's anything going on the other side of the field. It looks fairly quiet now, so I'll stay over on this side for now. Oh, wait a second. Cat did not go in. But now we've got Jeff Knight with the IVB. That might be what they need. But you can see that ticket going down and down and down. Lay into him. Lay into him. What? Doing some heavy damage. Oh, here comes the attack by Cat. The friendlies are on the back side there. They're charging. Lay into him. Make them count, boys. Officers flags. Officers flags. Hey, I got that son of a bitch. Shot him! Seventy ninth. What are you doing? Here comes IVB to help finish the jump. Well, is that the NYV in there? Prepare to defend. Ah, oh, tip of the spear. How did Parker get up here? I don't know. He's flying across the field. And that is a full charge by the CSA. And that will do it, knocking out the 42nd. But the 42nd held long enough to get him down to taking losses. Now the question is, does the Union pull back and defend? Kilroy's going to try to organize some men here. Let's see, do we have another attack going on this side? Let's see, looks like we got some fighting over here. Let's see what's going on on this side. It's, it's some randos. I, it doesn't look like it's a coordinated attack here. So, so far, the Union is holding on to B. We will see. Now we got floods of units coming in. The CSA did get that flag down. But here comes 9th Corps under Brutish. Going to try to come up behind. And Tommy try to come behind the HL here. We'll see if they can. I think they're a little shallow here. Kind of exposing their flank here. Who's coming up? Here's Tket. Coming back in, he's going to come right behind him and shoot him in the head. Maybe. He's just going to have a conversation with him. So 9th Corps, I think, came in a little bit shallow. Now they got to fall back a bit. In fact, right now, if I was the Union, I would just, I think, just turtle up on... Uh, on B and try to get the draw. I don't think you have enough Schlitz to uh, to get him down, but we will see. We got 79th over here trying to do some uh, shooting, but uh, you've got the CSA is now dug in very hard here on C point. There you go, you've captured it. So the ticket drain is done, and the CSA is still well ahead on tickets. Union about 40% down from a breaking. So the CSA, I think, will. If I was the CSA, I would launch an attack and try to get them down to break. I think you have enough tickets to do it. We will see. Let's see if I can see what's going on on this other side of the field here. A lot of guys in the woods. Kind of all fun doing thing. That's the already. I will say that was a hell of a comfort behind for the Union. I thought after that initial failure, they were done, but they have fought their way back. And we'll see what the Union wants to do now. Who's this over here, hunting out of lines? On 23rd or 20th New York. This, I don't think, is... Well, I guess it's fine. You got 79s kind of just hanging out here in the cover, but, you know, you get swallowed up here. That's a lot of tickets. 
know, you don't want to lose all these tickets here for nothing. You really don't have a regress route. You're out in the open. So even if you run away, you're out in the open and they just shoot you in the back. I, I don't think that's a good position for the 79th right now. And yep, so the CSA has opted for a mass charge here to try to get the Union down to breaking. I think this is the right decision. We'll see if it works. The Union, frankly, is a little bit too spread out here. They need to consolidate and quickly. Or they're going to lose way too many out of lines through these fours here. And that will likely get them down to breaking. They need to consolidate the way that the uh, CSA was on this point. This is way too spread out. This is this is loosey goosey type shit. Yeah, look at look at all these loose guys in here. I know you got spawn main, but frankly, I, I won't even bother. I would just wait for the flag. I know it takes a while. And there's five tickets right there. And you got to retreat in the open now. Surprised they haven't sent troops to clear off the arty. That, that, that's kind of amazing to me right now. But yeah, you you can see. You keep in mind what the CSA defense looked like and what the Union defense looks like right now. This is this is kind of a hot mess. It's not interlocking fields of fire. It's just units setting up wherever. I, I don't really see an internal logic to it. Now the CSA is doing a single mass charge. They're finding a flank and they're going to roll them up here. And frankly, I think they're going to be successful on it. At least getting them down to breaking. We'll see. Here comes the IVB, eating up the 123rd forward out of position. No mutual support from anybody else. Now they're trying to scramble and find a position here. The CSA is concentrating. Look how the CSA is setting up right now. You know, it's it's a main attack and one supporting base of fire into the side over here. Union is over here, not mutually supporting. Now Hood is going to pull back here to the flag point. We'll see if he can hold. Ninth Corps moving up here. Uh, they targeted this unit on the hill, which was 10th Tennessee. Um, but I think they blew their loads a little bit too soon, because here comes the charge from NWB and HL. This is what you needed for. This union element over here, 83rd and 18th, need to get into this fight now. They need to help these units here now to try to hold as best they can. Thank you. Oh, my God. But frankly, I think the CSA attack, I think this will do it. That unit is still off by itself. You're going to let all these guys get killed out of line here rather than come in. Now they come in. That was way too late, though, to be honest with you. 83rd, 83rd, 83rd. No, 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 no. Hold, hold point. Hold, hold point, 83rd. Hold, hold right as his tank. You want to hold it. You need to consolidate. You, more importantly, you need to start getting together. You're getting way too many out of lines and way too many skirmishings here with all these. Just just stop, stop charging. Just get in line and shoot. Yeah, like this guy right here? Idiotic. You just cost him five tickets. Loading out in the open by nobody. I don't mean to be mean. I'm sorry to be mean, but that's that's not good, guys. Don't do that. Again, dancing, I, I, you're a little bit too far out, man. you got to get closer to the rest of your buddies here, man. A little hard is right, but the, these guys are not listening. Yeah, he gave an order, but too many are not following that order, including his own guys. And that is going to cost the... I think that's going to cost the Union the game. If they followed Moldohart's order right, order right there, and they had gotten away, maybe. The Union needs to completely disengage. These guys right here, 10 tickets. 10 tickets right here. Boom. Huge, huge problem for the Union. 11 seconds remaining. They're going to get this flag down. And they might get them on to breaking. We'll see. That'd be great, man. Those few tickets. You guys didn't follow Motohar's order. That was very close. Frankly, the uh, Union got lucky there. 
but they fought their way br back brilliantly. So it's another draw, so another week of uh, we'll see what IVB and USAA do decide if they maintain the attack or one of them retreats. Um, but south southeastern Tennessee is, is proving to be a slugfest. Anyway, that's it for the first match. we got one more to go. Is this volume okay, too? But you guys let me know. I'm not sure if this is too loud. I made it a little bit louder, but some people were telling me they couldn't hear me. <laughs> 